Testing, testing. Testing, testing. Okay, that's good. Hello, everybody. I apologize what just happened. Uh, I, I had an audio issue with my computer. I think from time to time, my Mac uh, just does weird things with its audio output. Uh, all of my audio is garbled, so, so I had to restart my computer and start all over again. Hi. Hello. Hello, lovely Dorsen. Hello, uh, Celia Salas. Okay, so today we're going to talk about how to attain Chinese fluency by comprehensible input. And uh, it's a very popular theory uh, that's going on these days and uh, it's gaining a lot of momentum. So today we're going to speak to that. Uh, but before doing that, uh, I'm just going to go over all of your accent submissions. Um, so first, let me get on the camera. Okay, here's me. And let's uh, go to our browser. Oh, okay, my browser is kind of small right now. Okay, now it's big. All right. So uh, I'm going to just listen to all of your accent submissions, all of your pronunciation submissions, uh, which, uh, uh, which I don't have a lot right now. My trackpad connected. Okay, there it is. Okay. So I'm just going to quickly go over all, you, uh, all of your pronunciation submissions, and uh, here we go. You can see it all, right? It's all things that are very good. It's all things that are very good. Okay, can you hear that? Can you guys hear that? Yeah, this is really nice. Uh, Katsu Manoni. Kagiso Manoni. Yeah, this is really nice. Can you hear this? You can see it all, right? It's all things that are very good. It's all things that are very good. Yeah, so I think her problem is uh, with the 打人. Did you hear that? Right. So, so she, sounds, she sounded like 打人. She sounded like... Okay, we're supposed to say 打人, right? 打人. And it's... But uh, she sounded like like this. Uh, so let's correct her. So here is here's my comment. So Darin is not Darin. Do you guys want to have your accent corrected? Uh, if you want to have your accent corrected, what you can do is you can scan this QR code right here. This uh, this QR code right here, right? Uh, scan that with WeChat, and it will open a mini program in, within WeChat, and then uh, you can enroll in our free uh, pronunciation correction course. If you don't know how to do that, what you can do is this. Okay, so go to our YouTube, go to our channel, and then uh, in the videos, there is this video right here. You see the one with the duck? Free feedback on your uh, Zhongwen pronunciation. Do you see that? This one uh, right here, this one right here. You can click on that and then follow the instructions uh, to sign up for our free pronunciation correction course. Okay, all right, let's get back. So let's see the second submission right here. So she sounded like a Instead of 拿我的东西, she sounded like 拿我的东西. Let me just first check with my computer's uh, audio op output is correct. Hold on one second. 
sound line with multi output device Mac mini speakers. Hmm. Somehow, somehow my volume is just very low. Somehow my volume is really low. Okay. okay, this sounds really good, except for the very end. So she said, she's supposed to say, <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, yeah, uh, I see a lot of uh, regulars here. Richard Hartung, thank you very much for coming every time. All right, so uh, she said, Xiang Tou. Xiang Tou. It's supposed to be Xiang Tou, right? Xiang meaning, uh, meaning uh, noisy or loud. Xiang Tou is kowtow, right? Xiang Tou. So, so this is a loud banging sound on the, on the ground when you're doing kowtow like this. So Xiang Tou, that's what it is. But she said it as, she said it as Xiang Tou. This is a very common problem. Actually, if you watch one of the, the really popular video over the past few days, this one, um, the one with uh, Wu Xian on it, <laughs> on the cover, this one, the, the second one on, on this page. Does your Chinese sound like what's in the video? Uh, that's what it is. Uh, and also this one, Da Ren, is not Da Ren. It addresses the same issue because this is so common. Uh, I see this so many times in your recordings. Uh, so I have, uh, So I strongly recommend that you uh, that you watch these two videos yeah, uh, to, to make sure that you're not making those mistakes because they're super common. So she said xiang tou instead of xiang tou, right? So we're not, uh, sorry, I, I, I thought I had the, my browser on, but I didn't. So these are the two videos that you should watch. The da, da ren is not da ren and rising third tone syndrome. Like these are addressing the same issue. So please go ahead and watch those uh, in your spare time. Yeah, so she says xiang tou instead of xiang tou. Let's correct her. Let's give her a correction. So it's xiang tou and not xiang tou. That's it. Uh, it sounded like a she, doesn't she, doesn't it? Perhaps it's a he, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's a he. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Because when my at the very beginning, my computer was super quiet and I couldn't hear it, who it was. So, yeah. Sorry if I, uh, sorry if what I said was kind of offensive. Sorry, sorry, Yuri. Sorry, Yuri. Sorry. <laughs> because my computer was so quiet at the very beginning, so I just somehow assumed that it was a female. Sorry. I apologize. Oh, this sounds really good. This one sounds really good. This one sounds really good. Well, that's cool. Uh, you, you're actually here for, uh, for live correction of your accent. That's perfect. What are the chances? Okay, perfect. This is really good. Hung hao. Hung hao. Awesome. So, uh, Yuri, uh, make sure that uh, you get all your friends sign up with our free pronunciation correction course, so I can uh, so I can hear all of your uh, all of your pronunciation and uh, fix all your mistakes. The reason why I'm doing this and doing this for free is because uh, so far I have I actually haven't uh, got a lot of samples of of what your pronunciation sounds like. I want to hear a lot of you and uh, be able to spot some of the common mistakes and then uh, come up with uh, fixes for these. Uh, before, uh, when I made the pronunciation video course, it was not really based on uh, based on real world data. It wasn't re really based on what, what you guys have produced. So this time I want to make sure that it's uh, rooted in uh, your real, uh, real life problems 
and uh, and address those uh, real life pronunciation issues. Yeah, that's why I made this course and also made it for free. Uh, I'm gonna eventually add more levels to this so that so that you can you can record even more and uh, and help me discover more mistakes. All right, the next one. Okay, so uh, obviously she's uh, she's a beginner, right? She's uh, first learning how to produce Mandarin tones. Uh, and uh, she made a, a well, well, judging from a from a native speaker's ears, you know, she she made a lot of mistakes, but uh, good for her. Uh, maybe as a he again, I don't know. Uh, so let me just give her uh, uh, the one of the most obvious mistakes is uh, 想头, right? So she instead of saying 想头, she said 想头. 想头, she said 想头 instead, right? So. Uh, I'll just hit say make your make your uh, say good job good tr good job uh, on your first uh, first attempt uh, in producing Mandarin tones. Uh, make sure your third tone is low and flat. Watch our uh, free pronunci pronunciation video course on uh, Chinese zero to hero dot com and watch the video on tones. Uh, uh, sign up with uh, okay. Okay, next. Ah, no problem. You this Perfect. That sounds really good. Okay, on the second listening, I heard one mistake. Okay, very good. Very Except for she says 死疯子, as 死疯子, right? Let's hear that again. She said, she said, she said, she said really quickly, but she said, it's supposed to be, she said, she said, she said, let's just give her a correction. Uh, just uh, watch out for, not, Next. Perfect. Awesome. Perfect. This is a stellar job. All right. Okay, that's it. Awesome. So that's all the pronunciation correction that I have to do today. Uh, it's not it's not a lot i remember the first day when all your submissions came in i had like two pages two pages or three pages of these i had to go through oh awesome so that's that and today i'm just gonna go over how to achieve chinese fluency so this is the subject we're gonna discuss today uh we know that uh, textbook learning and learning with apps like Duolingo or learning with, uh, you know, even with our courses, Chinese Zero to Hero courses, you know, they, they only play a small part in your entire uh, language learning journey. Uh, the majority comes from real world acquisition. It comes from watching a lot of dramas, for example, and then looking up the subtitles uh, and, uh, for example, reading a lot of novels and reading a lot of books. Uh, listening to audiobooks, listening to podcasts, and stuff like that. So getting real-world input, real-world, authentic audio input. Oh, hi. Good morning. Also, repeat the ones that are correct. Uh, the ones that are, cor that are correct is in the video. So if you sign up for the course, uh, Celia Salas, if you sign up for the course, they're right there in the, vi in the, in the course, right? Uh, yeah, you can ask questions. Um, I... 
but there's a delay uh, mind you we have uh, like a 10 second delay so by the time I, I see your questions it might be like uh, 10 20 seconds later all right so awesome okay so let's uh, today let's focus on how to attain uh, fluency I'm gonna present with you a few different options in uh, acquiring comprehensible input so number one uh, I think this is the simplest way is by going to going to our website so if you go to zero to hero to hero dot ca If you go to zero to hero .ca, and you can scroll down to Chinese zero to hero and then click on audio visual tools right here. Mayu, uh, you didn't miss much. I just sort of corrected everybody's accents. Um, you can always rewatch, you know, this is uh, this is going to be on replay. Oh, by the way, you know the live chat replay issue? I found out why. Uh, the reason is uh, I think YouTube takes, it, it takes some time for YouTube to compile the live chat replay uh, and make it available. So I think it takes like 24 hours for my live recording to be available and uh, for live, re uh, live chat to, to replay. Yeah, so that's why. Anyhow, so the easiest way is just to go to our website, zero to herocom zero to hero.ca and then go to Chinese zero to hero and then go to audio visual. So here we have a big library of uh, big library of different audio visual material that you can you can watch. For example, um, what do you, which one do you guys want to watch? <laughs> this website isn't my new start page. <laughs> okay, awesome. Uh, so, mm, I don't know, maybe let's watch a lecture. Okay, let's watch a lecture. Sometimes, uh, you know, you watch a lot of dramas, but uh, you also need to have some uh, academic vocabulary, right? From time, like if you want to pass the HSK-5 and the HSK-6, you, you want to get some academic vocabulary as well. So here uh, is a perfect option. You, here you can watch an online lecture. This is about Roman history. So let's watch. The words are available on the right. So if you hover over the words, uh, you get pinyin, pinyin on top. So you can click on you can click on the line to to uh, play that line. 同学们好。我们这门课叫古罗马文明纵横塔。这个课程呢，我们大体要分三个部分来给大家介绍。Right. Yeah, you see that? Yeah. So the problem here a lot of you might have is not being able to figure out what exactly uh, are, are these words saying. Like you might be able to look up, okay, this is woman, that is German, ke, uh, but together what is this sentence saying, right? Is there a translation? Well, there is, it's in YouTube, it's in this YouTube player. So what you do is you click on this little cog and then you click on uh, subtitles and then you click on auto translate. Uh, and uh, it seems to have okay yeah. so auto translate and uh, you can pick whatever language you want here I'm gonna pick English so now if I play so now you see that there's a there's a uh, translation that's flashing by see that okay so, uh, the name of the site is zero to hero dot ca. Uh, so, if you uh, you can Google Chinese zero to hero, you, it will take you to our website. Uh, and then, uh, and then, what you do is uh, from our website, you click on Chinese zero to hero, right here. And then you click on audio visual. Audio visual. I'm just looking at your chat, uh, looking at the chat. Oh, for me, it's difficult. Keep on my mind. The grammars is a lot. Yeah, yeah. Well, the gram, 
you have a lot of grammar points, but uh, we, we certainly have this grammar review chart, right? Go to our grammar page and then just check off each line that you know and then work on the ones that you don't know, right? This is a very, very, very long grammar sheet from HSK1 all the way to HSK6. Okay, it's a very long grammar sheet. Uh, you, can, you can also search for a particular grammar point over here, like the, for example. Uh, so, so this is all the grammar points with the, a lot of the grammar points with the. All right, so let's go back to that uh, lecture. So, uh, how the, mm, yeah. So let's keep watching. Now, if let's say that the Cheng is a new word that you want to remember, what you can do is you can press on the star. See that? See this star beside the word? See there's a star? Right? Press on that star, and then that word is now highlighted and it's in your saved words. It's in your saved words. So if this word is in your saved words, as you, as you watch the video, you'll get pop quiz that quizzes you on the word. So what? Then you have to press Cheng and you get it right. If you press the other ones, you get it wrong. Okay. So uh, as soon as you save a word, you get, you're going to get pop quizzes uh, down, the, down the page, which is uh, a, a cool way of sort of quickly reminding you to review your words. Uh, if you want to systematically review all your saved words, what you can do is you, you can go, go back to dictionary on top. And then here uh, are your saved words right here uh, on the very right. Saved, you see two words, press on that and see Jin Cheng saved here. Okay, so you can export that as a CSV if you want, uh, you know, uh, whatever you want. So let's go back and uh, continue with our comprehensible input. Uh, oops, I think I went back too far. Okay. You have no money to pay? Well, you know, a lot of the stuff is free. Uh, we have, we also have a lot of free stuff, you know, in the future, if you have money to pay, you can, you can, you can pay, you know, but, uh, but we have a lot of free stuff too, right? Because uh, uh, we want, we want people to see how awesome this is. So, so we, we put out a lot, of, uh, a lot of free content. I'd buy zero to hero HSK three. Can you go back and buy HSK one to six later? Is there a, any discount? Uh, no, like we don't, um, we don't give discounts based on what you have purchased before. Um, but, but from time to time we have sales, so you can, you can watch out for those. Uh, you can sign up with our, uh, s s you can uh, make sure that you s sign up for our email, sign up for our emails, and then we'll announce the, uh, our sales. All right, so let's continue with this video. Okay, again, uh, you can turn on English translation, auto translate, auto translate, let's go to English right here. Wow, you can actually auto translate to Esperanto, which is kind of cool. Okay, so you get a you get an English translation right there, and you have Chinese uh, uh, hover, hover dictionary right here. Uh, by the way, you can also use extensions like Zhongwen, the Zhongwen browser extension. Uh, Zhongwen extension, Chrome. Uh, right here, this uh, Zhongwen browser extension. This, this browser extension also allows you to hover over words and get definitions. Uh, it saves you a lot of time, like this, right? like this. Um, but, but our website also gives you a, a hover dictionary by default. Some of you might prefer traditional characters, right? Uh, I know a lot of you like traditional characters. What you can do is you can go to settings. You can go to settings right here. And then you can uh, choose use traditional. See that? See this? Use traditional. If you press on that, everything becomes traditional. I'll zoom in and let you see the magic. 
See that? Use simplify, use traditional. Simplify, traditional. Simplify, traditional. Uh, you can choose whether to uh, to show pop-up quiz, uh, whether to show translation, uh, and whether to show definition above words. I don't recommend that because uh, because then your your text gets really long. Uh, so if you do show definition above uh, above words, that's what you're gonna see, right? So you see string, children, located, at, house, and more. <laughs> like you see all these uh, definition on top of words. And uh, if you press show opinion above words. Uh, that's just going to show opinion above all, all the words. Correct. So some of you might prefer uh, the text in this format. So you have Chun Tian, Hai Zimen, like all, all the opinion on top of all the words. Um, you can do that as well. Right. So we're going to just go back to simplify. Uh, so whatever you want. Uh, if, you, if you want to hide opinion and only show opinion when you hover, uh, you know, you can do that as well. Uh, or you can just show opinion all the time. Right. You can show opinion all the time. Okay, get that? No, Bukhazi. Mm, Bukhazi. Uh, do we have a tutorial how to import the CSV file into Anki? I don't. Yeah, I don't use Anki, uh, to be honest. But uh, yeah, if you have problems importing CSV files into Anki, let me know. Um, or or maybe maybe YouTube it and how to import how to import CSV into uh, Anki. Yeah, so the question uh, Richard Hartung asked was, uh, do we have a tutorial on how to import the CSV file into Anki? Uh, yeah, I really, well, when I made a CSV uh, output, I actually haven't test, uh, tested with Anki. It's just a plain CSV, right? So it's, it's a plain CSV. Uh, if, you, if Anki doesn't take the CSV file, well, you might have to do something with the CSV file first and then get, get that into Anki. So I, I, I'm not sure because I'm not an Anki user, to be honest. Uh, I, I use Quizlet. I use Quizlet a lot. So, so that CSV file was more optimized for Quizlet. But if you want to use it for Anki, um, mm, hey, stop spamming my channel, this guy. All right. So that's the opinion settings. So let's now go back to our video. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Where was the lecture? Yeah, this one. Okay. So this one about history. Great. So now you can see uh, pinion is automatically added right here. She kind she kind of uh, looks like Hu Jintao. <laughs> uh, don't know don't know if you guys remember him, Hu Jintao. Uh, China, the Chinese president from um, uh, uh, during the Olympic times in in, in the two thousands. Right. <laughs> he kind of he kind of looks and sounds like him. How be sure? Okay, so let's say that you don't know 落后, uh, you don't know 星期, you just uh, press on save, save, okay, right. So if you want to listen to the, uh, the, li the line again, just press on the line and it will uh, replay the line. 有地 有地国道衰亡。有地国道衰亡。有地国道衰亡。有地国道衰亡。有地国道衰亡。有地国道衰亡。See, like if you repeat a few more times, uh, you learn the words a lot better, and also, uh, you you can imitate how he speaks, so that so that your tones are accurate. Let me just zoom in a little bit. Maybe maybe you see this better. 由共和到地质。由共和到地质。由共和到地质由共和到地质由共和到地质由共和到地质 uh, You can also adjust the speed, right? Uh, you t in the YouTube player, you can choose 0 0.5, for example, right? Make the speed super slow, right? You press on the cog and then go to playback speed and then choose, for example, 0 0.5. So that will slow, slow it down 50%. 
，有共和道地制，有共和道地制。有共和道地制。有共和道地制。Right, you get the tones right.、Uh, we can also say these words. Say these words. So, oops. Ah,、uh, I accidentally pressed on the on on the on, on this、uh, icon right here. 共和。有共和道地制。Okay, perfect. 有市民法到，有市民法到万民法，到万民法。He has a slight dialectical accent. 有市民法到万民法，有市民法到万民法。Right, just repeat and、uh, and get、uh, get into the habit of using the right tones. 有市民法到万民法。Yeah, get yourself、uh, a how do you say、um, accustomed to. Uh, like attuned to to the to the proper pronunciation. Okay, 这是个很好的方法啊。对，我知道。老师，你在美国吗？我在那个，我在加拿大。嗯，在加拿大。嗯，我看哈。Has been a game changer. Zero to hero has been a change, a game changer for me. Are you anticipating many changes to the format of zero to hero once the new HSK one to nine curriculum is released? Uh, yeah, I mean, I am excited with the new curriculum. I think、uh, they were promising that they're gonna add some higher levels of HSK,、uh, which I think is great because、uh, because then then you can you can you can attain even a higher level of fluency, and then I can design、uh, I can design some courses that fits those、uh, some courses that fit these levels, but、uh, but right now it's not very clear what exactly they're gonna do. So、uh, yeah, it's still a wait and see. Still a wait and see. Teacher, hi John. I have a question. Don't you know any book, web, with exercises that focus on particular grammar points? I haven't found anything. Oh,、uh, there's that thing called the Chinese Grammar Wiki, right? Chinese Grammar Wiki. Chinese Grammar Wiki. And also, we have our Chinese Zero to Hero Grammar. Let me just show that to you. Grammar, grammar, grammar reference. Right here.、Um, copy paste that as well. Right. So this is a grammar,、uh, a grammar cheat sheet. If you press on any button beside the grammar point, if you press on this button, for example, one point zero five point three. And then it will take you to our course explaining the grammar point. Okay, so so that's another resource that you can use. And Chinese Grammar Wiki is another one. Hi, 老师 is the pronunciation course going to continue? Add more tasks? Yeah. Uh, uh, because right now my time is sort of split between teaching Chinese and teaching English. Uh, I am spending a lot of time teaching English. I actually created this whole Dakaya course on、uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> Believe it or not. Uh, uh, but、uh, very, but it, it wasn't very successful. So, so I'm gonna spend more time on the Chinese side and add more tasks to、uh, to our Dakaya course and get, get you more、uh, untamed snippets, and、uh, and get get more of your pronunciation recorded. Find it very helpful. Thank you very much. Awesome. 发现我更长的看类似的视频 ，instead of 复习或者预习。天哪，老师，请问 ，instead of 中文是什么？嗯，对，呃，而不是啊、uh, ，instead of is like 而不是，所以而不是。OK， 中文不太好，好的，晚上。OK，Awesome、okay.。So this is one way of、uh, of getting input.、Right? Just With our website,、uh, you you can see that we have a lot of expansion videos. We have a lot of lot of categories on the right. For example, you can go to art. If you go to art, you get everything that has to do with with、uh, art. Like、uh, for example, let's try try this. 大陆电影的国宝 the treasures of mainland Chinese、uh, cinema. Let's click on that. 
And then you have this clip about Chinese movies. You can tell that uh, different speakers different speakers on YouTube have different accents, right? This, this person has this accent where he uh, mixes S and SH sounds. So he doesn't distinguish S and SH. To, to him, S and SH are the same. <laughs> For example, Liang Xin Zuopin. Liang Xin. Okay, so now you know it's conscience. You can save that. And then Zuopin uh, is work. So this is a conscious work or conscientious work, right? This is this is a very like when you make something that's very high quality and you're 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 looking for uh, making a good product rather than just getting a lot of profit. That is liang xin zuopin, right? Liang xin zuopin, a work of conscience or a work that's bearing a good conscience uh, that that that's produced very conscientiously. So uh, we can again turn on English. Turn on English translation. All the translate, all the translate to English. Mm, wow, you can all the translate to Basque, which is kind of cool. It's translated as conscience work, but it's supposed to be conscientious work. You do have to do a little bit of deciphering because this is uh, these are all like machine translation. So you do have to do some figuring out and uh, and uh, and research, right? If you don't know a word, you might have to Google it. You might have to you might have to look up our dictionary. For example, Liang Xin. Let's say that you're you're having doubts about this word. Right? Why why is it Liang Xin here? Why is it conscience here? Uh, what you can do is you see that there's a little book icon beside the word Liang Xin HSK six and the little book icon. It, it it takes you to our dictionary. So if you click on that, it takes you to uh, to our dictionary, which will give you uh, a f some more definitions of the word, right? Liang Xin, Liang Xin means conscience. We use Liang Xin Dan Bao, right? I warn with good conscience. It right? gives you a frequency index and tells you how to write the words, right? Write the word, how 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 it's broken down, and what Liang means and what what Xin means, and the uh, pictures of Liang Xin and collocations with Liang Xin, right? right? Yeah. And then you have uh, example sentences with Liang Xin, common mistakes with Liang Xin, synonyms of Liang Xin, and the Liang Xin in Japanese and Liang Xin in Korean, right? You know that the Japanese word uh, was a Liu Xin, uh, Liu Xin means conscience, and the Korean word Yang Xin means conscience, right? Uh, you can actually click on that and it takes you to Japanese zero to hero, which is uh, kind of cool. If you click on <laughs> Yang Xin, uh, it takes you to to Korean zero to hero and then shows you Yang Xin. It's like uh, yeah, if you if you're learning Korean at the same time, some of you are learning multiple languages at the same time. I, I, you know, you might find this helpful. Right? Hmm, the speaker isn't working. All right, so that's a that's a digression. So in any case, that's how you can get some comprehensible input. So that's one way. That's one way. Uh, I'm going to cover two additional ways, uh, but before that, let me just get caught up, uh, get caught up with the chat. Let's see, language learning with Netflix. That's, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm going to cover that like right now. Uh, Teacher John, do you know any extension or dual subscription in Netflix? Uh, yeah, so I'm going to cover that right now. So let's do uh, language learning with Netflix. Language learning with Netflix. I can just close all the other tabs, save some resources. Okay, so language learning with Netflix is a Google Chrome browser extension that sort of transforms your Netflix experience into a language learning experience. Right? So if you, um, if you install that, you know, now they have more than 1 million users. Uh, so who knows, maybe they have 10 million users. <laughs> too many, too many users for, for Google to show this. So it's a very popular extension. A lot of people are learning languages with Netflix. Uh, whereas our Chinese Zero to Hero browser extension isn't receiving much popularity. So you can, you know, <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe I didn't uh, make the extension that useful. But in, in any case, so this is, 
uh, language learning with Netflix, a uh, really popular extension. Uh, you can uh, install that and, uh, and learn language with Netflix. Let me show you how to do that. So first you go to, first let me have a sip of coffee. Sorry. So let's go to Netflix. Let's go to Netflix. And uh, we want to find, for example, Untamed, right? A lot of you like Untamed. So let's go to Untamed. Let me catch up with the chat. Would you say it is fine to follow HSK if I'm learning traditional characters or should I follow Talkful? Uh, yeah, you should follow Talkful. Yes. Uh, especially if you're in Taiwan because, uh, because it's not just the characters that are different. Right? Our ways of speaking is different. Our pronunciation is slightly different and our vocabulary is slightly different. So I would recommend going with a talkful if you're in Taiwan, especially if you're in Taiwan. Uh, also, also Vicky Rakuten has a learn mode. Yeah, the problem with Vicky is that their subs aren't that great. Their subtitles are user contributed, which, you know, I appreciate the fact that the users are contributing uh, subtitles. But the problem with uh, Vicky is that the, the user contributed subtitles are either uh, erroneous, incomplete, uh, or both erroneous and incomplete. So when you're watching the shows, you're constantly distracted by, okay, where are the subs, right? So, so I mean, it's, it's quite a, I don't know. I tried it before, but, but I, I find that Netflix is much better be, just because at least they have complete subtitles, complete subtitles. Uh, is your English course called English Zero to Hero? Yeah, it's called English Zero to Hero. And, uh, and uh, we're selling that in China. I'm obsessed with the fact that you guys just put Wei Wuxian on the front of any video. You are absolutely correct that it makes 100% more <laughs> likely to click on it. Uh, well, if people like it. I mean, um, uh, because, because we're, I only put that on the cover if I'm going to talk about the Untamed in the, in the, in the clip. Right. I don't just use that as a clickbait <laughs> when, when, when we're having a, when, when we're actually doing a, what you call it, a clip with, from the Untamed, uh, then I'll use a, a cover image from the Untamed just because it pertains to my video. But if not, then I wouldn't use it. Uh, so let's see. All right. So I'm kind of caught up. Oh. Okay. So let's uh, watch the Untamed and see, uh, see how we can learn language with, uh, with Netflix. To be honest, personally, I'm not a big fan of Untamed. <laughs> you know, I, I find it kind of cheesy, <laughs> but, but Hey, don't, don't hate me for that. You know, each one, each one to his own. Um, so, so I say you guys love it. So, so I cover that. All right. So because you have language learning with Netflix, this plugin right here, it transforms Netflix into this new user interface. So now at the very bottom, you have this bar where, where you can go to, you, you can skip to any line. You can, for example, if you click on this button, next subtitle or press the D key. Right. Right. So it skips to the next line. If you press on repeat or press the S key, it repeats the line. See that? So you can copy. You can also adjust the speed. So to adjust the speed, what you do is you press number one or number two on the keyboard. Number two on the keyboard speeds it up. Number one on the keyboard slows it down. So if I press number two, See that it goes up to one one time. If I press one on the keyboard, it slows down to zero point five. See that? Two 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 one 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 one. Okay. So let's go back to normal speed. Right. You can sort of copy copy how they speak long. This is called shadowing. Right? You you just uh, sort of uh, repeat as they speak. Uh, in normal speed, this way it gets you, uh, gets you speaking correctly, gets you speaking with the right intonation. Like that. Right? Uh, this button auto pause on the very right. See that this this button right here. 
this is for auto pausing on the subtitle line change. So sometimes like when a speaker is speaking kind of fast and uh, before you know it, they have already skipped to the next line. If you want to practice every line individually, uh, this plugin allows you to automatically pause every time when the subtitles change, right? So it pauses just before it goes to the next line. For example, See that? It stops right here. See? It stops. But if you turn that off, yeah, again, I, again, I find this kind of cheesy. Uh, maybe I'll skip to a less cheesy part. <laughs> now, now it's just continuing playing. Continuing to play. See that? It continues to play. Uh, but if you turn on auto pause or AP, it pauses before it goes to the next line so that you can repeat. Some keyboard shortcuts do help you do that. Um, the left key, the left key on the keyboard, right? This key right here, it goes to the previous line. So if I do that, see that? Left, 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 it goes to the previous line. And the right key, guess what it does? <laughs> goes to the next line. Right. right. And then the the down key, the down key right here, it repeats the line. See that? See that? <laughs> it, repeats, it repeats the line. Uh, so these are the keys that I use the most fre uh, frequently when learning Korean, or right now I'm sort of working on my Korean, uh, following Korean dramas. So, so that's what I do. If you want to save words, uh, you have to pay them. Uh, so, so that's that's how they make money. Uh, that's how they that's how they sustain themselves. So, if you press on the, this word for example, uh, it gives you a dictionary definition. Uh, you can press on you know uh, press on these buttons to go to different different dictionaries to look up these words, or you can just use a Zhongwen extension to to look up these words. You know that's an that's an option as well. Uh, alternatively, you can also press on uh, this open, close, vertical view. See that? It's this three bars on the, on the top right. If, if you press on that, you see this entire transcript. And if you press on export, right here on the share thing, see that export? If you press on export, you can export that into a print document. So print HTML, you can press export, and it shows this thing. You can print that out, and then you can highlight. Right? You can print that out, and you can you can you can highlight. You can you can mark it up. You can do whatever you want with it. Let me see if you have any questions. But it's like three pounds a month, uh, relatively cheap. Yeah, yeah, it is. Uh, and 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 they keep track of all the words that you learn, which is also um, worthwhile. How can you share Netflix so everyone can see? Usually, it's black screen. Uh, that's because uh, my my browser. Oh, it's because my monitor doesn't support HP HEVC. What's that called? It's that protocol. It's that video protocol. My monitor doesn't support it, so that's why my YouTube. Uh, I'm sorry, my Netflix is uh, not streaming 4K. My I, I cannot get my Netflix to stream 4K just because my monitor's um, connection wire doesn't support that protocol. Um, I, I actually uh, contacted Netflix and tried to figure out the problem and then I, then I realized it's my hardware issue. Anyhow. Wow, thank you, so cool. Yeah, it is cool. John, I'm preparing for the HSK3 exam, which is now online. Do you have any advice on exam technique? Uh, I don't have particular exam techniques because um, in our courses, to be honest, we don't cover the exams themselves. Um, the the workbooks that come with the text the textbooks they have real exam questions inside which gives you some practice but in our courses we we don't cover exam techniques um, so yeah so that's that's uh, uh that's a shortcoming of our course uh, we we so far haven't provided any any tips on how to how to succeed on the test themselves we just cover vocabulary and grammar and and, and chinese in general, 
but we don't uh, we, we're following the HSK curriculum but uh, we don't give you any uh, test techniques yeah so that's that might be something that we can work on in the future right <laughs> all right <laughs> always these subscriptions yeah uh, that's why uh, Chinese Zero Hero do not have any subscriptions. Yeah, we we are just always always just you know buy once have have it forever, yeah. Because we don't want you to have a credit card statement every month showing Chinese Zero Hero you know fifty cents <laughs> something like that. Right. All right. Uh, let me see if you have any more questions. Can we see the pinions too with the extension? I think you can. Right. If you just go to the settings. Oh, see that? Show transliterations. See that? With uh, original form. So that will. Sh okay. So now you have pinyin. See that? You have pinyin. Or you can. Or you can go to settings and then choose transliterations only. So now you have just pinyin. <laughs> that helps. I don't know. Hai bu shi xiang go. Now that's very hard for me to read. All right. Now let's go back to no transliterations or uh, with with original form. Okay. Let's see that. Right. I just joined the live. Where can I find this extension? It's called uh, Learn uh, Language Learning with Netflix. Now. Yeah. Uh, go to this page right here. See that? I'm I'm pasting that in the chat. How could one learn how to write characters? Mm, you first you learn how to recognize them. First you learn how to recognize them by reading a lot. Uh, by turning the pinyin off, right, and only look up the words that you do not know, right, uh, and then you can get used to reading the words. Once you get used to reading the words, eventually you can, you know, copy it a few times and then and, and get used to writing them. Uh, and eventually you forget and you and you learn that again, right? It's a it's a repeating process. Uh, but I, I think it's very difficult for you to attain native levels and unless, unless you're in China and and really like uh, spending as much time. Uh, with Chinese as, as you do with your native language um, uh, because it, it even for native speakers it takes a lot of time to 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 practice their writing and after a while they forget because we always type those characters on our phones with pinyin right uh, so it it's gonna take a long time um, yeah but uh, but if you just get into the habit of uh, getting used to reading the characters and from time to time like practice how to write write them and then you're gonna get better yeah it's it's gonna be an ongoing process you're not gonna get that in uh, in in a year <laughs> so would you recommend using trans translators like Deepol or mdbg uh, i use i use uh, google translate because i find that google translate uh, does english a little bit better right? it translates into english better um yeah i do recommend it i i recommend that you you uh, read the Chinese first, and then if you can understand what it's saying, then go to Google Translate. Yeah. Uh, the advantage of machine translation versus human translation is that first of all, it's very literal. They always translate very literally. So you can understand how the original relates to the translation. And second, because they're prone to mistakes, you know that machine translations have mistakes uh, and knowing that they have mistakes, you will be a little bit more uh, careful in reading the the original form right when you know that the machine translation has mistakes you spend more effort in decoding the original usually uh, most of the time you can spot the mistakes right sometimes they they pick the wrong translation of a certain word uh, you know you can spot those mistakes uh, and you know that doesn't really cause any problems so so I do prefer machine translation than human translation actually for language learning yeah, it's just just because it's uh, it helps you to put more effort in decoding the original. Okay, I'm just looking over the chat. Uh, okay, will this live be saved? Yeah, the live will be saved. Uh, if you want to find my uh, live videos, you can go to my channel and go to uh, playlists. There's a live stream playlists. 
So we can find that there. Can I become fluent without learning how to write? Um, yeah, you can become very good. Uh, just just uh, not not being able, being able to write. You know, uh, a lot of Chinese speakers have trouble writing some rare characters. Um, so so if I forget how to write a certain character, I just look it up and then I, I sort, of, sort of refresh my memory. Uh, yeah. John, would you recommend using? Okay, now I cover that. <laughs> Beautiful Xiao Chan. Yeah. Uh, okay, how should we learn to write characters? Yeah. Okay, so I cover that. Okay, so I think I'm caught up. All right. So, um, let's continue with our third method. So, so we covered two methods, right? The first one is by going to our website. I find that uh, my viewership drops every time when I go over your chat questions. Maybe I should just sort of keep monitoring the chat so I can answer your questions as I go. All right, so method number one, go to our Zero Key Hero website and go to audiovisual tools and then go through the videos right here, right? Uh, we have a lot of videos and this is not all, right? Uh, on, the fr on the front page, we only show the first 200. Uh, there might be over a thousand now. That's the first method. The second method, learn language with Netflix. Again, go to the browser extension, learn language with Netflix, right? Uh, let's see. Language, language learning with Netflix. So the second method is download this extension, install it, and then go to Netflix and then learn uh, Chinese dramas this way. The third method I'm going to cover is a, a method that we came out with, and that is studying PDFs. So let, let me show you. If you go to zero to herocia and uh, go to our HSK courses, this is a cough. And then press on view all of, all of our courses on Teachable. So that takes you to our uh, courses page and then scroll down to expansions. So you see here, HSK five expansion, art and culture, HSK five expansion, film and drama, HSK five expansion, Chinese history, HSK five expansion, TV news, HSK five expansion, science and technology. Uh, let's say that uh, you want to learn some science and technology vocabulary and, uh, or if you're interested in science and technology, you can press on that. And then, uh, uh, okay, maybe this is not a very good example because this is all YouTube. I uh, want to show you how, uh, let's say that you're in HSK six. Okay, you're in HSK six and uh, you want to study some science and technology terms. You can press on this, right here. And then you have all these uh, lessons. Each lesson is one episode of a documentary. For example, 超级装备,第一级独立装备 So this is a CCTV documentary CCTV documentary So here, uh, is, here is a PDF that you can download and, uh, and study So let's download that Download Download, and now this is downloaded You can now press and open it uh, can I mark up on this? I don't think you can. Annotations. Okay. Anyhow, so let's say that this is your um, PDF viewing software, right? You can go through each line of the subtitles, right? You see each line of the, uh, of the subtitles are listed here. And on the left, you get Google Translate. Right, this is all Google Translate. And on the right uh, is a glossary for that particular line. For example, yo yi, over here. Yo yi ge bie ju feng qing de mo du zhi ye kai shi. Yo yi ge bie ju feng qing de mo du zhi ye kai shi. On the right, you have feng qing explained to you, you have mo du explained to you. 
Uh, the reason why these are uh, these are singled out is because this is designed for HSK six. This is designed for students studying for HSK six. So this is uh, uh, giving giving you the help you need to to, to understand the text. Right. So if you're studying for HSK six, the system says, okay, uh, I think uh, Feng Qing is something that might be difficult to you, and Mo Du might be difficult to you. So we are we provide you with uh, these definitions. If you're viewing this on an iPad or on a phone, if you press on Feng Qing and Mo Du, it will launch Pleco automatically. So you can look up more definitions on Pleco if you want. Right. So you can press on uh, Mo Du or Feng Qing right here, uh, and then look up on Pleco. And uh, the video can be viewed right here, like see on the very top, you can press on 看视频, right here, 看视频, and it takes you to YouTube, and then you can watch, you can watch the documentary. Right. Right, right. So, Right. Uh, you see that these CCTV documentaries, they're great, but the, the, the problem is their subtitles are all embedded in the video, right? You, there's no way for you to look up the text, right? They're not closed captions, they're embedded captions, right? You know that this is a common problem. So what we did was we created all these PDFs that have already extracted all of the text so you can study them. Um, dramas are great, movies are great, but if you want to get some additional document, uh, additional vocabulary like scientific or academic vocabulary, you want to watch some documentaries, right? Some documentaries, some online lectures. So we have provided these in our courses. So if you want to get those courses, uh, get those expansion courses, get all of these PDFs. These expansion courses are included in our HSK 5 and 6 bundles. You can get them individually, like each one will cost $9. Uh, we, we sell each one on, as $9. But if you want to get all of them uh, at a very affordable price, what you can do is you can go to our online courses. And then, let's see, let me show you our pricing. So if you buy HSK five, oops. If you buy HSK five, you're gonna get all the ex uh, expansion courses for free. Right? So if you get HSK five right now, it costs forty five US dollars. You get all the six expansion courses for free with lots of PDFs. Yeah, with like I think hundred uh, like hundred PDFs, like hundred hundred TV TV episodes. Right, so these are uh, included with HSK5 and with HSK6 as well. Or you can get the HSK5 and 6 bundle together right, for $76 right now. You can get all of the PDFs we've ever produced, uh, all the CCTV documentaries and everything. And uh, we, have, uh, we actually spend a lot of money uh, to get all these subtitles extracted so that you can, you can study them. So, so yeah, so that's the third method that I want to cover. The advantage of this over the other uh, methods is that because you have a PDF to, to study, you can physically keep track of, of, uh, of, your, uh, of your learning. Let me just uh, go back. Yeah, because you have a physical like PDFs, uh, you, you can actually print them out, you can highlight them, you can, uh, uh, or you can use PDF annotation software because you have a physical object uh, that keeps track of your studying, it's much easier to go back and review, right? So this is a th third option. Uh, learn language with Netflix, very easy, very simple, very easy to sort of repeat each line, you know, it's great. Uh, our, our own study tools, uh, you know, they also offer some, uh, some unique features uh, where you can uh, look, up, uh, look up words and, uh, and gives you some, uh, unique features. Um, our PDFs, you know, it's also a, a third way of studying. It gives you subtitles that's not available anywhere, right? CCTV documentaries, you know, their subtitles just aren't, uh, aren't available anywhere, except here. 
uh, and, all, and also with PDFs, it's much easier to sort of highlight and keep track of, of your progress. So that's it. Uh, and uh, that's uh, the three methods of uh, getting comprehensible input that I want to cover today. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, do you have any additional uh, methods? Uh, do you have any other ways, you, your own favorite way of, of doing this? Let me see what, uh, what you guys have said in the chat. Yeah. Uh, so Karen, uh, Karen Keo asked, uh, does the course update after you buy it? Yeah, we, uh, we fix mistakes regularly and, uh, and sometimes we add additional contents. For example, just this year, uh, we added all the expansion courses, you know, all the PDFs that I just shown, sh shown you, um, these PDF files that I just, uh, sh that, that I've just shown you, these are added, uh, in January this year. Yeah, these are all added in January this year. These did not exist last year, right? These are added in January this year. And all the HSK five and six students got them for free because because it's an update. To, uh, we consider that an update or an enhancement to our course. So if you, uh, if you have already bought HSK five or six last year, you get all of these extension, uh, expansion courses for free. Yeah, so we do update our courses. Sometimes we make major improvements to our courses and you get all of them for free. Yeah. Uh, or, you can, um, or you can just download all the videos and save it on your hard drive uh, and, and, and watch it that way. Um, so yeah, um, we, we're very, what, what do you call it? Conscientious, uh, con conscience work. We, we make works of conscience. <laughs> are there any dialects in your opinion that you think are inherently tougher to understand for beginners, intermediates. I think any dialect that's different from your textbook, it's going to be difficult for you to understand. Right? Uh, some dialects like Cantonese are just completely unintelligible even to Mandarin speakers. So, um, so by getting the HSK six bundle, you get all the PDFs that is available. Uh, if you get HSK six, you get all the HSK six PDFs. You get if you get HSK five, you get all the HSK five PDFs. If you get it, both HSK five and six as a bundle, then you get all of them. Yeah, we do not have PDFs for one to four um, because for one to, from one to four, you, you know your Chinese isn't that's uh, good in, isn't good enough to understand these uh, complicated documentaries. All right, so let's see. Volume up, please. Sorry. Sorry, um, I should have uh, put my mics uh, a bit closer. Oh, I can't hear. Sorry, uh, I should have uh, kept uh, kept up to speed with your chat. Okay, I, you don't have to buy everything, but I would say the add-on that gives the stroke order for more characters. Oh, okay, you're talking about Pleco. Okay. Awesome. Oh, you can't hear my you can't hear my sound right now. Ah, okay. All right. What's the difference between method one and three, except the uh, printable PDF? It looks uh, quite similar. Um, method one and three. So learn language with Netflix. Uh, very interactive. Uh, you know, very interactive. But uh, but uh, the PDFs. Uh, the PDFs gives you the words right here beside it. You see, you see that? Let's see. They give you the definitions of the words right next to it. So when you study, you don't have to look up the words because they are already looked up for you. Right? You have the translations here. You have uh, you have the the words sort of listed here. So they're they're all looked up for you, uh, and the and the second difference is that like documentaries like this are just not available on Netflix, right? We're we're gonna find these these, these documentaries. Uh, they're only available on YouTube, and on YouTube, sorry, on YouTube, the subtitles are all embedded in the video, right? So so you can look up the words very easily we have extracted all these text as PDFs, right? We have extracted all these texts as PDFs, so you can, you can look them up. These are not available on Netflix, right? These are, these are all only available in our PDFs. 
uh, we, we paid we paid this Chinese company uh, called uh, Xunfei, right? Xunfei. They have they have people who transcribe. <laughs> so so we pay them like uh, I forgot how much like twenty thousand RMB uh, for them to transcribe everything, uh, and then and then we take their transcription and produce all these PDFs. PDFs. If you want if you want to make PDFs like these yourself, if you have the text, if you want to make PDFs like that, just go to our website and uh, and under reading you have the study sheet creator right? study sheet creator you just paste the english translations here you paste the chinese text here and you generate you pick a level and you generate right? uh, for example here and you copy paste that into a like a text editor or um, excel sheet or something like that yeah but it's a lot of work <laughs> you know it's a lot of work over here uh we have you know we have done all of this for you so uh, we have 30% off right now, uh, so uh, use that coupon code below and uh, and sign up with our uh, HSK 5 and 6 courses and then progress to fluency. Oh, yes, the sound has been good all the time here. Lovely Russian again. <laughs> uh, yes, we could hear all the time. Awesome. Is this Zero to Hero for English? Yeah, uh, we have uh, English Zero to Hero. Um, you know, uh, my, my English might sound broken to you, but <laughs> but but it's good enough to teach some English to to my Chinese students. Right. So right here, uh, English zero to hero. We have uh, we have Cambridge English courses and we have uh, American English pronunciation course. And we also have all these other um, audiovisual tools and other resources. We have social accounts on Bilibili, Douyin, Xiaohongshu. Right? And we have courses on CC Talk. So, yeah, that's our. Uh, that's the experimental part of our business. This is the, the English zero to hero part is isn't uh, profitable right now. It's a uh, it's it's a, it's it's a, it's a drain. <laughs> it's a drain. <laughs> but I, I I just like languages, you know. I like learning languages. I like teaching languages. So so I produced this course to to help uh, Chinese uh, to to help students in China who are struggling with English. Right. Uh, okay. So that is everything. That's everything I wanted to cover. And thank you very much, guys, for listening. And uh, I'll upload this video to YouTube within 24 hours. You'll be able to see the live chat replay and, uh, and sign up with our Dakaya course. And let me hear your pronunciation and have it corrected tomorrow. And uh, once again, this is John from Chinese Zero to Hero coming to you live from lovely Vancouver, Canada. <laughs> and uh, have, a, have a great day. Have a great Sunday. Okay, bye for now.